Welcome to our YouTube channel, where we delve into the lives and legacies of iconic figures who've left an indelible mark on history. Today, we turn our spotlight on the legendary Katharine Hepburn, a trailblazing actress who redefined the role of women in Hollywood. Join us as we explore the fascinating journey of a true Hollywood icon. Early Life Catherine Houghton Hepburn was born on May 12, 1907, in Hartford, Connecticut, to a privileged and progressive family. Her parents, Thomas Norval Hepburn and Catherine Martha Houghton, were advocates for women's suffrage and social reform. These early influences would play a crucial role in shaping Hepburn's fiercely independent spirit and commitment to social causes later in life. Theater Roots. Hepburn's acting career began to bloom while she attended Bryn Mawr College, where she participated in theater productions. After graduation, she moved to New York City, determined to pursue an acting career. In 1928, she made her Broadway debut in The Tsarina, and her talent was immediately recognized. Her stage presence and distinctive voice set her apart, and she became a sought-after actress on Broadway. Hollywood Debut Hepburn's transition to Hollywood wasn't entirely smooth. Her initial screen test was a disaster, with a studio executive reportedly saying she had a voice like a cross between Minnie Mouse and fingernails on a blackboard. However, her determination paid off when she was cast opposite John Barrymore in the 1932 film, A Bill of Divorcement. Despite initial doubts, Hepburn's performance was widely praised, and it marked the beginning of her legendary film career. Trailblazing Roles What truly set Katharine Hepburn apart was her willingness to take on unconventional roles for women in Hollywood during the 1930s and 1940s. She played strong, independent characters in films like, Little Women, 1933, Alice Adams, 1935, and Bringing Up Baby, 1938. These roles challenged traditional gender roles and paved the way for future generations of actresses. The Hepburn-Tracy Partnership One of the most iconic partnerships in Hollywood history was the on-screen pairing of Katharine Hepburn and Spencer Tracy. Their chemistry was undeniable, and they starred together in nine films, including Woman of the Year 1942 and Guess Who's Coming to Dinner 1967. Their off-screen relationship, though secretive due to Trass's marital status, added an extra layer of intrigue to their on-screen collaborations. Award-winning success Katharine Hepburn's talent was duly recognized with a record-breaking four Academy Awards for Best Actress, a feat unmatched to this day. She won her first Oscar for Morning Glory, 1933, and went on to receive Oscars for The Lion in Winter, 1968, On Golden Pond, 1981, and The Philadelphia Story, 1940. These accolades cemented her status as one of the greatest actresses in cinema history. Personal Life While Hepburn was fiercely private about her personal life, she was known for her unconventional approach to relationships. Her long-lasting love affair with Spencer Tracy, despite his marriage to another woman, remained one of Hollywood's best-kept secrets. Hepburn also had a deep commitment to social causes, including women's rights and environmental conservation, and she used her fame to advocate for these issues. Legacy Catherine Hepburn's legacy extends far beyond her film career. She was a trailblazer for women in Hollywood, challenging stereotypes and paving the way for future generations of actresses. Her indomitable spirit, distinctive voice, and unwavering commitment to her principles continue to inspire and captivate audiences worldwide. Here are some fascinating facts about her life and career. 
She was born on May 12, 1907, in Hartford, Connecticut, to a suffragette mother and a doctor father who encouraged her to be independent and outspoken. She was a tomboy who preferred wearing pants to skirts and once cut her hair short and called herself Jimmy. She found her brother Tom dead when she was 13 years old. He had hanged himself in their aunt's attic, either by suicide or by accident. The tragedy haunted her for the rest of her life. She made her Broadway debut in 1930 and her Hollywood debut in 1932. She won her first Oscar for her third film, Morning Glory 1933 She bought out her contract for the play The Lake rather than finish the run, after receiving terrible reviews. Dorothy Parker famously said that she ran the gamut of emotion from A to B. She was a leading contender for the role of Scarlett O'Hara in Gone with the Wind, but lost it to Vivian Lee. She later served as maid of honor at Lee's wedding to Laurence Olivier. She did all her own stunts because she felt that the stunt women never stood up straight enough. She had a long-term relationship with Spencer Tracy from 1943 to 1967, despite him being married to another woman. They starred in nine films together, including Woman of the Year, 1942, Adam's Rib, 1949, and Guess Who's Coming to Dinner, 1967. She never watched Guess Who's Coming to Dinner because it was Trass's last film. He died 17 days after filming ended. She was nominated for 12 Academy Awards and won four, more than any other actor or actress. She won for Morning Glory, 1933, Guess Who's Coming to Dinner, 1967, The Lion in Winter, 1968, and On Golden Pond, 1981. She wore slacks to the Oscars in 1974, when she presented the Best Actor Award to Jack Lemmon. She said she wore them because they were comfortable and easy to put on. She walked around the studio in her underwear when the costume department stole her pants from her dressing room. They wanted her to wear more ladylike clothing, but she refused. She was an avid golfer, tennis player, and swimmer. She once swam across Long Island Sound at the age of 12. She suffered from a tremor in her head that she inherited from her grandfather. She said that whiskey helped stop the shaking, but also stopped the rest of her too. She died on June 29, 2003, at the age of 96, in Old Saybrook, Connecticut. Her last words were, I'm all right. Conclusion. Catherine Hepburn's life and career were a testament to her unyielding determination, talent, and fearless individuality. She left an indelible mark on Hollywood and the world, proving that a woman with conviction could defy conventions and achieve greatness. As we celebrate the enduring legacy of this Hollywood icon, we are reminded that Katharine Hepburn will forever remain a beacon of inspiration for generations to come. Dear viewers, we have tried our best to provide you an informative video. Please comment that how did you find this video because your opinion and comments are very important to us. If you like the video, please like and subscribe our channel so that you may be updated for our every informative video. Take care of your good self.